This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Kryptonite 2 Bike Lock, the product that made Kryptonite famous. Now, how exactly that happened is a really great story involving the 1970s version of viral marketing. But to put it in context, I'm going to give you a little history of Kryptonite's first few years. It was founded in 1971 by Stan Kaplan, a bike mechanic from Cambridge, Massachusetts. He patented his idea for a bike lock, which looked very similar to this variant, and he started producing them all by himself, though he never made more than about 200 of them. Now, interestingly, if you look at Kryptonite's website, there's no mention of Stan Kaplan. It says that the U-lock was invented by Michael Zane, and it also says that Zane founded Kryptonite. Well, which is correct? The best I can tell, Zane was not the inventor, and Kryptonite's website has a little revisionist history. If you pull up the 1971 documents for patent 3800570, you will see that it was filed by Stan Kaplan. Zane didn't come on the scene until about a year later. He apparently saw a news article about Kaplan's lock and wanted his family's sheet metal fabrication factory, which then made fluorescent light fixtures, to start producing the locks. Zane and Kaplan entered into a partnership agreement and started producing this lock, the Kryptonite 2. Now, to Zane's credit, we probably never would have heard of Kryptonite were it not for his marketing genius. Zane went on a nationwide publicity tour in his Volkswagen minibus and became known for doing quirky things like showing up for interviews wearing a skin-tight green superhero outfit with the letter K on his chest. But his best marketing idea was locking up an expensive bike with this lock and leaving it in a bad part of New York City. They got a local bike shop to monitor it, and 30 days and 23 bolt cutter marks later, the bike was still there. This gimmick was picked up by national news outlets, and it wasn't long before the name Kryptonite became synonymous with bicycle security. And what about Stan Kaplan? Well, Zane bought him out around 1973, and now, 45 years later, the actual inventor of the bicycle U-lock has been edited out of Kryptonite's corporate history and is all but unknown. Okay, we're done with the history lesson. Let's talk about this Kryptonite 2. It was introduced in 1972 and doesn't have an integrated lock as does the K3, which replaced it around 1974. If you're interested in seeing the K3, I featured it in video 663, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. The padlock securing this is the original one that came with the lock. It's made by Unican in New Jersey, and it has a tubular core, a brass lock body, and a 10 millimeter hardened steel shackle, which is protected by the shroud on the U-lock. So let's see what it takes to pick into this lock. Since this was made in 1972, before impressioning tools were cheap and common, I'm going to single pin pick it, though a modern impressioning tool will also open this up. So I'm putting my, my tension wrench on this. It's not easy to do and give you a good view, but hopefully I'll be able to angle this correctly. And let's start picking. Okay, click out of one, click out of two, Nothing on three, four, click out of five, click out of six, and nothing on seven. Nothing on one, two, three, click out of four, little movement on the core. Nothing on five, six, click out of seven. Not sure what's holding us up. There we go, number three. Moved it one position. It has not opened up yet, so let's pick it one more position. Okay, click out of one, click out of two. Nothing on three, click out of four, five, six, and I think the only one we didn't pick is three there. There we go, and looks like we got it open. 
So once you get this open, you still can't get the lock out. You have to squeeze it together a bit. Then you can take the lock out. And after that's done, you can remove the cross piece. So not a terribly difficult lock to pick by today's standards, but it was pretty good back in 1972. In either case, I think it's a really interesting old lock because it really changed our approach to bicycle security forever, and it was the lock that put kryptonite on the map. That's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.